This must be the Great Hall. Without his lackeys outside, it should be easy to arrest that wretched Tollgate Commandant. Come on. Let's kick the door in and grab him! Wait. I'm sure this place has a few more surprises in store for us. It would be smarter to find a way through the dungeon. That way we can avoid any more trouble. You can sneak around on your own, thief. I told you not to get in my way. There's no point in arguing with you, Forgrim. What about you? Boat pie. Which way will you choose? <laughs> okay, so we have to split up again. Let's take the direct route through the Great Hall. Let's take the more cautious route through the dungeons. Or we should let the coin decide. Yes, let the coin decide. Agreed. Let the Fox God make the choice for us. I'll take heads. Bah! I wanted tails anyway. Then why did you say bah? Heads. Oh, shit. Thank thanks for hearing your humble servant. Ah. After you, Forgrim. Bugger. I was honestly not wanting to do that. Whoops. Can't leave anything else there. Broken arrows, rusty nails, what have we got here? Surprise coming on. I've decided to accept Santa kind of suggestion and we'll try to find Inkers Bigger's way through the dungeon with the aim of paying Commandant Blondfont a surprise visit. Or Grim would have preferred to battle his way out, but he's decided to join us after all. Wasn't well, that just fun? I'm guessing the dungeon is down that way. I need to double check that before I go any further, I think. Apple, silver ring, that's fine, that's not going to help me at all. Click there. Yeah, the Great Hall or the dungeon. We should just go through the freaking Great Hall, shouldn't we? <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be fun? Alright, so what have we got? We'll at least walk a bit until we figure out what's here. Uh, I think I'm just going to sneak because I'm going to screw this up anyway. Well, I'm going to screw it up if I don't sneak. I don't know what the hell Kim's doing right now. Oh, Jesus, Kim. Is she going to get unstuck? I... Get out of there. Maybe I'll send Kano Ready first. On call. Kano can do the things and they can lag behind. If he gets in trouble, he can just run back. This looks to be relatively safe. I think we're okay. We'll find out soon. Could be a trap. But I don't think there is. Oh. Never mind. What I thought do you we're want? going through that door there. That's my bad. Wasn't that just damn diddly dumb dropped? Does he turn at all? Eh. You gonna turn, buddy? No? I'm not opposed to killing you. But. I don't know if Fex would be pleased by that. Go invisible at all? You want to give him a better offer? Let's get everyone down here then. That way if we do get into combat, which we most likely will. At least everyone's going to be close by. I'm going to try and... Still stinky. What's your charisma like? You got 10 charisma. Ready on call. Honestly, you're the better, the best talker out of all of us. So, <laughs> a dwarf is the better talker. Wow. Oh wait, no. The dwarf knows though. Uh, a parental instinct when it comes to sniffing out secret passages, hidden doors, openings in the walls, rock. Wow. Okay, I didn't realize that, that was a thing that existed. That's very interesting. What yeah, do you he, want? he's got no human nature. Do you have human nature? You've got nine human nature. Wow. 
You're just a great man. You can seduce people. Why'd your charisma so bad? Honestly, how the hell do we get rid of this rotten stink? You know what? Drink the perfume. That didn't help much, but at least it gave me one more charisma. I've got it for three minutes, I think. No, two minutes. Sucks. Hello there, dear jailer! Oh, shit. Wasn't that a bit... On guard! G give him a better offer. I don't know if that's yes. gonna work, but... Haste makes waste. Ready on call. Aye! Send it on. Why are we... Okay. Go down, Dodge. Oh, Lord Pyre's injured. Oops, that's... How does that them do what they want? Yes? Right on! What are you not doing? Alright. Oh, you sh almost died. That's not... Hang on. Is that the one? Okay, I thought I had a healing spell, but they're not doing anything. At least not that I can see. Balm of healing, you should think. Also heals wounds in the amount of the modifiers. Does not happen if the number of wounds is higher than the modifier. Plus one vitality regeneration what, until next hit. Okay. Just might not see it. I'm kind of confused there. But why not? Could mm -hmm. Kano do some skinning? Mm. Treat wounds, arcane law, animal law. You're the one who's got the animal law. Never know, we could use these pelt scraps. Or things later on. I'm not 100% sure exactly what, but we can use them. That was a bad engagement. That's for sure. At least we know now that they are waiting for us, I guess. So we can't sneak through. At least I don't think we can. You won't get me so easily, not me! Count on it, scoundrel. You won't get away from us. What are you gonna do then, huh? I'm locked up safe and sound in here, and that's how I'm staying! Well, in that case, we've got you too. Maybe we should calm down and talk about this. Ha! <laughs> you learnt nothing from me. Why did you run from us? Are you joking? I know what you did in the courtyard. You're not doing the same to me. Oh, we need to only do that because they attacked us. What are these levers for? Oh, uh, well, they won't get you in here. How do I open the door that leads to the top of the fortress? <laughs> not at all. You'd need the dungeon key for that. And where can I find that? Well, the commandant has one. And I have one, and you can bet I'm not giving it to you. Hmm. What happens if I use the lever to the left? Oh, uh, well, they won't get you in here. Okay. Give me the key. <laughs> You're right. The key opens all the cell doors. I think I'll hold on to it. So I'll see you later then.
The lever on the left. Hey, what are you doing? Leave the animals in their cages. My bad. The wild boars are completely harmless to me. They're used to me. Oh, okay. Can I chat to you some more about the levers? Do you want the... Um... That one? Oh, you think you're really clever now, don't you? So the beasts attack each other. I'll still be fine. I wasn't expecting that, but... How about this one? Uh, how, how about... Little pie. Work with me here. Ah, oh, the level's not working! Maybe it's a bit of a challenge for you. Um... Okay. What? Welcome. How much strength do you have? 15. Lopai has 16. What now? So you got the strength right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Right, I'm confused. Hmm. It doesn't say I failed any strength tests, so... What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, okay. Can still do those ones. Is that what? What are you doing? <gasps> the bear's angry. Help! Let me out of here. Or I'll give you the key. Oh, puzzles. Thanks. Uh, I thought I was bound for Boron's halls. Oh, here's the key. Uh, you're not going to hurt me, are you? <laughs> um, why are these animals in the dungeon? The fortress commandant. He has a penchant for all kinds of animals, and the larger animals need food. Oh, God. Human nature. Be a little more precise. Why did you keep the animals down here? I, I've already said too much. Please, I've done nothing to you. Let me go. Tell me what happened to the prisoners. Hey. They're all dead! Bloomful! He had them all killed! That's not the whole story, is it? How did the prisoners die? I, I've already said too much. Please, I've done nothing to you. Let me go! It's too dangerous to let you leave. You're right. Why don't we lock this good fellow into one of the empty cells? He looks like he needs some peace and quiet. Um, first I want to know about the prisoners. Hey. I've already okay, he's not going to tell much. us, right. Please, I've done nothing to you. Let Enough. me go. Enough talk, let's lock him what? up. There's no need for that. What's wrong, Soma Show? A moment ago you were so happy to be in a cell. <laughs> you can't just leave me to rot here you've killed so many people who knows if anyone will come down here again if you stop shouting I'll let you out later on it's up to you ah, I don't believe a word of it you're not coming back anyway the commandant's bodyguards will make mincemeat of you you'll see oh he's got bodyguards this is gonna be fun isn't it what's a ledger I think it's a ledger. Jailer's book. Official record of the Bloomfold, the Glimmer Dyke, Chief of Tolson Tollgate. 1115 Hell, 
Prisoner Fred and Ruckus have been taken to the Commandant for interrogation. That's the last of them. It's about time we freed up some space here. This one here. The remaining prisoners have been taken to the grotto for work. Now all the cells are empty and Alfred and I are sitting about twiddling our thumbs. One f 9 one 15 hill. Tashman sent down an entire barrel of Fedrock Ale. The Commandant has very gener been very generous lately. PS3 cheers for the Commandant. <laughs> Tashman wanted us to bring up some more prisoners, but all the cells are empty. He made a real song and dance about it, as if, it was, if, it, as if I was to blame. The villagers must be growing cautious. The commandant has ordered us to house a pack of wolves in one of the cells. They almost ate Alfred alive when he went to feed them. On the bright side, the Commandant has sent down another two barrels of beer. The wolves are almost gone now. Now we're keeping wild boars in one of the other cells. It smells worse down here than a cave full of goblins. Alfred can barely keep up with all the cleaning. Now we've got a bear to look after. The Commandant himself came to watch us drive it into its cell. The rotter does not nothing but sleep all day. Bloomfoot does not look particularly happy. happy. Another downing of a few beers, Alfred decided to try his luck and dance a jig around the bear. Unfortunately, he managed to wake the brute up. The bear made a real mess of him, and now I'm stuck with his shift tonight. God. We have a new prisoner, Gero Hols Holscrub, the landlady's husband. Tashman obviously had a score to settle with him. He keeps walking around in circles on his wooden leg inside his cell. He'll drive me insane if this keeps up, if he keeps this up. All the scrub has gone to up to report to the commandant. We've got a new prisoner, a young lad from some far off town. He must have been passing through. He's done nothing but sit in the corner and sob since we locked him up. I almost feel sorry for him. Oh, that's bad. Can we take that? Use? And then just reads the same thing. Well, it's not updating my quest book, which is... Very strange, we found out what happened to them there. Oh, we knew they got taken to jail, I guess, but we need to figure out what happened to them afterwards. That's some very long range you got there. Diamond dust and rusty nails. So good. Okay, so we have a key. What's the key gonna go for? It's a quest item. Dungeon key. This key belongs to the jailer. Target unlocks the Bar door that seals the passage leading to the Commandant's audience chamber. Okay. I didn't see any barred doors, but... Heck, who am I to say that there wasn't one? It's definitely not in the jail, though. I don't think. So therefore, it should be that door I would have assumed, but I can't interact with it. Not at all. Though it needs to be up here somewhere, most likely. Here we go. This is the door, of course. Well done, Lord Pie. Hmm. Got a feeling combat's gonna ensue, ensue very, very soon. But... Yeah. Let's let uh, Kim do some spelly wellies. And the next one. Why not someone a helpful paw whilst we're at it? A helpful paw. All right, guys, we're going in. Well, I'll kiss an ogre if it isn't those snoopers Tashman's men have been talking about. We were betting on your chances of making it up here. Hmm. Hmm. I think Lord Pie is logical, right? Maybe. He's a bit pissed off, though, that the prisoners are dead. You better get out of the way. It's time you're coming down and answer a few questions. What do you think, Metzel? That wasn't very polite, was it? Maybe now we don't feel like letting him through. Ugh. <sighs> 
Take it easy, there's no need for violence. We just want to talk to the Commandant. Sure, why not? He wants to meet you anyway. You must amuse him or he'd already have told us to stop you. Oh, okay. That was easy. I'll loot the place first. Got some boar meat. Can I look in the craft test? Don't mind me, guys. Thanks. Definitely saving now. We're gonna get ambushed. Most likely. Ah, we meet at last. Uh -oh. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Stytus Bloomfold, Commandant of the Fortress. You just assaulted so loutishly. Just realized that I had Lord Pi selected only. This could end up bad. Oh, good, actually. Maybe very good, actually. Spare us the pleasantries, you villain. We know what you're up to. You're in league with the pirates. Oh, so you discovered that already. Truly impressive. Did Tashman talk before you did away with him? Yeah. Uh, so let's get to the point. What kind of deal do you have with the pirates? You seem to find the death of your underlings amusing. Are you really so unscrupulous? Tashman said you, you had been warned about us. Who told you about us? Yeah, it sounds like the best one so oh, far. Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Did you really think your snooping would go unnoticed? How simple-minded of you. It's incredible you got this far. All right, the death. Well, I'm a practical man. I don't cry over spilt milk. But if you care so much, perhaps you shouldn't have killed them, hmm? Well, we didn't really. We just knocked a few of them out, and Tashman is the only one we killed. Uh, besides that dude in the dungeon, I mean, not the, dun the dungeon, the sewers, and his dog. Killed many dogs, and some boars, and some wolves as well. The murderers. Let's get to the point. A lucrative arrangement. We give them information, and they always drop off a little package here or there. They'll be raiding an elf village soon. I wonder what they'll bring me. They say the most peculiar things about female elves. Maybe I'll find out the truth for myself soon. <laughs> you seem mighty confident, sir. I'll show you how an elven woman behaves, Fagra. That'll answer your questions forever. So you are half, half elf. Well, I think our little discussion is drawing to a close. I'm a very busy man, and you're beginning to bore me. Uh, so fine, since you're so impatient we to be clapped in irons, just tell us where the pirates are. Well, I have more than enough time. First tell us where the you can find the elf village. Yeah, why not? Oh, it makes no difference. There are plenty of others who will get the treasures there for me. And now I'm afraid your questions really have become far too dull. Hmm. We've got no patience for this. Or pirates and... Yes, where are those scoundrels hiding? I'm getting sick of trawling up and down this river looking for them. And what about Mora? Is she also with the pirates? Mora? Hmm. Interesting that you ask that. My river pirate friends have mentioned that name a few times. They sounded quite agitated. If she's so important, then maybe she's still alive. That would be important to you, wouldn't it? Oh, such a pity you'll never find out. Uh... Yeah, you've been defeated, fool. Surrender, and we will be merciful. <laughs> you don't seem to understand your position. Right now, Coldstone's man is dealing with your friends on the ship, and I have a very special surprise for you. Uh-oh, boss fight. <laughs> Time for you to meet my little pet. Your pug? Ah, we're not scared of your little lapdog. Oh, not this one! <laughs> oh, gods. That's pretty cool. Come on, boy! Come on! Feeding time! Oh, 
Oh god, tentacles were in the cave. The crazy dwarf man was right. Ah, oh. <laughs> shit. Defeat the Kraken Newt. We were thrown into the Commandant's Normals. Commandant. We were thrown into the Commandant's Normals pet, Kraken Newt, as food, and we're forced to fight for our lives. How the hell do you fight a Kraken Newt? Okay. Aye. And unfortunately, the health pause worn off. Well, just just attack. Ready on call. Honestly, I don't think any of this can help us. Haha! -ha. Maybe we could just target down one tentacle. Aye. We'll find out soon. And if we have enough, we can put points in strength. To swinging, he's been uh, knocked down. Do they consider it's weak to astral lightning thing? Right, we'll let you do your thing, Lord Pa. You've done your attack already. What do you want? Kano, can you do yeah. a precision strike again? Ready on call. He's knocked down, mm, you're just yes. doing your thing. Oh god, this thing's gonna take forever to kill. Is there no other way? So we have to kill the Kraken Newt, is that right? Oh, that's not good. Um, okay, that Scooby stuff does go away after a while. Which is good. What do we have? It doesn't tell you anything, does it? Just tells you that you're covered in gook. Oh my god, that destroys your stuff so quickly. Ah, uh, Lord Pie, what have you got? Ombre juice, bandages. What does this do? Treat poison. That just does some healing. Yeah, but we can't use that. Pale ale. Uh, C.O. That's constitution. Courage. Ready. I think you're okay. Do some more of that. And then... Ba'ia. Lord Pai should be ready to go again. Do we need to actually attack the main head instead? God, someone's been knocked down. What do we just do? What the hell are those things? Yes? Oh, bring him! Right. By Angros's beard. We got some morphus. What the? F uh, yes. Oh God! Fudge is happening here. I. I'm hoping you can take them on, but yield. Please. You'll be alright, buddy. Won't you? What do you want? Bring him! Yep. Oh. <laughs> hey, I saw that arrow. Oh, maybe it was you who shot it. Uh -huh. Oh crap, it's got his health back again. What's that? You attack the main head. Aye. You can. Sandyaza. What's the point of attacking yes. that then? Right on. Garoshem. Well, go, go. Yes. I don't know. Just bring them. Do things that 
Oh, blow up high. Attack the barrel. And take some stuff from the mofu. Oh crap. He's getting his ass hit. I Target acquired. Uh, I think she's gonna do healing bomb that's right. She is good. Yes? On guard. Hey. Is he doing it? Yes, he is. Good. What now? Over there. Haste makes waste. Let's, uh... Oh, I got some more mofus. Uh, Lopa, you go take care of that one. You need to summon a hopeful Paul. And probably cast some more agility spells. Lopa, you do. What do you want? Yeah! Yes. Attack! Okay, her astral energy's gone down terribly, which is bad. Light in the darkness, why not? It might help us somehow. I don't think it will, but. Mofu barbs. Sorry, you gotta take some mofu barbs. Ready on call. Okay, can I? Right on. Garoshim. That him. I. That's the better one, isn't it? Before I get to range. Yeah, Arrow Tempest is the better attack. These two arrows, the opponent. Yeah. Lopai. Get me some mofo barbs. I don't know what they do, but we'll find out soon enough. Why? You're attacking that thing, right? Oh, you don't have any stamina, Aye. right? Ba'ia. Good, it's mm -hmm. almost dead. Haha. -ha. So attacking the tentacles is useless to a degree, but what can you do? I need to wait until we get our energy up. Target acquired. Yay, we killed it! Oh no. Blue foot, no! Oh, Bloomfoot. He only wanted to rule his key. Ha! Well, in the end, Gilfer... Gigrim? Bet himself to his precious pet. I'd have liked to wring his neck myself, but this works just as well. Pex be thanked that was close. Much longer than we would have been the creature's stomach too. A rather taste. Tasteless death. The stench in this cave is so bad I can barely think. I don't, if you don't mind, I'd like to get out of here as quickly as possible. Wait, maybe we can find something useful down here. Forgive me, my dear, but as a follower of the fox, it would be unforgivable not to, not to check. You are making sense. Oh. After escaping the Commandant's ferocious pet, we hurried to the ship. We did. If Bloomfield is right, Ardo and the other crew of the Thorough are in danger from one of Goldstone's henchmen. After all, they don't yet know about the events that took place here. Do you mean this wooden leg thief? Wait, this looks unusual, like a fragment of something. We should keep this. <gasps> we found the wooden leg. That's the uh the 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 key. That's that's the word. My gods. That was hard to come up with, wasn't it? True complete blank at the time. Bracken! Oh. 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 Oh, pa, we got more items. Buckler. 
let's see. Minus one, minus one, equip your permit second parry. Mm -hmm. uh, weapon bonus minus two slash three. Weapon bonus minus one slash one. Now I don't know what's better. Is it better to have a lower number? Kettle helmet. You do hit. You do the same amount of thing. Um, but it prevents spell casting. That doesn't. So since Lord Pi isn't a uh, <laughs> spellcaster, he'll be okay with this little hat. And Paris can have that silly hat. Ready. Look at the rusty cleavers. Ah, okay. And what the heck is a Mofobob? Poisonous Mofobobs can be fired at opponents with a crossbow. Oh. Targets can resist the effects by testing against the constitution plus 6. Oh. How many arrows do we have? 39. Holy cow. Do any more arrows knocking about? Some bolts and stuff. That's, uh, that's bad. Nailed board, we got off that crazy guy, I remember that. Steel! Uh, knee pa plates, so deal. Where do they go? There? Yeah. I like how his character gets updated with those stuff. Splintered bolts, you can take that. You can take that. Bleach bone, no idea what to do, what to do with that. River stone. And... Stale bread roll. Mouse traps, what? What can one say? I don't know, we could probably sell it or something. Take the bolts and the goose feathers, darling. Those will be useful for you. Oh. Yes. Give those to me. You don't deserve do you them. Want? I still don't trust you to not leave me. Orgrim's Worm Slayer. Orgrim's weapon of choice may look old and notched, but it's actually razor sharp and has been. Seen great deal of enemy contact. The axe blade is capable of withstanding a great deal, and its long point protects the user's fingers. The hilt and the shaft are clean and pristine condition. 2d2 or 2d plus 2. Hmm. Meh. What's the uh, strength bonus? 11 2. Wow. Lord Power. Kick out of that. Curious. We can take it off him, which is funny. Where's Fulgrim's axe? There it is. Okay, so it's still plus two. Several two points off to eleven. I would have thought it would be uh thirteen, fifteen, seventeen would be the next one. Oh I've got like thirteen strength. Slight gangrene. Yes. Uh -huh. Hooray. I wonder if that's the one that does it. That looks like it does it. Alright, little pie. Anyone else got slight gangrene? No, that is stinky. 16 strength. Plus 2 is strength 16. Aye. And if we do this, we should get over the threshold. This is more experimentation, really. No. So 11, after that is 13, plus another 2 is 15, so 17 should be the cusp of it, so you should get plus 3. I would have thought. Or maybe it doesn't tell you because it's taking the base one, but it still does do the, the damage it requires. I don't know. That's interesting. Yep. A bit confused by that one. Slimy skeleton. Gold ring. Gold ring has an engraving inside that says Lucia. Uh oh. Level 4! Lord Pi, you're level 4. That's good. And we got a thingy. Alright, we got the wooden leg thing. 
Although the landlady doesn't really miss Gero that much, we should at least l she should at least know that he remained faithful to her until the end, right up to his death in a crack in Newt's stomach. We found a golden ring with Lucia engraved on it, crack in the near the crack in Newt. I wonder who it belongs to. Lucia should know what's happened to her fiance, even though there are nicer fates than this. Yeah, that is definitely true. This was one horrible fate indeed. You can't put up a fight in the misty light.